I must admit, I'm envious of your Universe 7. Well, you're more than welcome to pay us a visit sometime. My dear father. Yes. Perhaps I should... Since Wiss's first appearance, several doubts arose about his power. He always seemed very mysterious at the beginning, and the main focus of the narrative was always on the god of destruction, Beerus. There was a lot of talk about the strength of the Hakation, the power of the Hakation, and how frightening a god of destruction could be. However, later, we discovered that there are beings above the Hakations, and that they are not as powerful compared to these beings. The ideal moment for our illustration was the blow that was gave Beerus, putting him to sleep with a simple slap on the neck. He scared even Vegeta by revealing that he is the master of the fearsome god of destruction. But as powerful as Whis is, his strength doesn't even match that of the Daishinkan, who is the father of the twelve angels we meet in the work. However, among the twelve Daishinkan sons, which one is the most powerful? This is a subject that intrigues most fans. The biggest curiosity is knowing which angel comes closest to the power of the High Priest. And the answer is in this video. I guarantee you will be impressed. As much as Dragon Ball Super is increasingly increasing the level of the opponents faced by Goku and Vegeta, it is very clear that the angels are on another level of power. Having as their main function to guide and assist the gods of destruction, the angels have abilities that to this day we do not know exactly the extent of. However, when we talk about the most powerful among them, the most obvious answer is the High Priest, who directly serves Zeno and is the father of the other angels, being the second strongest being in all the universes. Therefore, placing the High Priest in a higher category, which of the other twelve angels can be considered the strongest? Making this type of comparison can be a little complicated, but the first thing we need to keep in mind is that an angel needs to be stronger than the respective god of destruction that he helps, to the point of being able to prevent the universe through which is responsible for being destroyed. An example of this occurred in the fight between Beerus and Kampa, when Whis and Vados interrupted the battle, because if the two continued, universes 6 and 7 would be destroyed. Following this same logic, as universes are classified based on moral level, an index that evaluates the general development of morals in that universe, and is directly related to the work of the Kaioshins and Gods of Destruction, universes with higher averages are considered more developed. In other words, as Universe 1 has the highest index among all, Owamo, the angel responsible for this universe and who can feel everything, could theoretically be considered the most powerful angel among the twelve. But as we said before, this is not an easy comparison to make, since the mortal level of a universe is not necessarily related to the power of its fighters, having more to do with how well that universe is led by its deities. An example of this is Universe 7 itself, which has one of the worst mortal level indexes due to Beerus, who spends most of his time sleeping. In other words, based on small signs, such as Vado stating that she was stronger than Whis when they were training in Kusu being considered the eldest daughter of the High Priest, so far we can consider that perhaps Whis is not the most powerful, and that the dispute it is between Vados and Kusu. So that's it guys, don't forget to like the video to support me as a creator of Dragon Ball content, a big hug to everyone, all the best always, and I hope to see you in the next video, yes.